But two professors came up to me and said, we really want to use our iPad in the classroom. And so uh, that got me to thinking and searching and researching a little bit. And uh, so one of the ones that I stumbled across is what I'll show you today. It's called Doceri. Couple questions, a couple times I've gotten a question, what about for my Android app, or my Android tablet? And Doceri doesn't have an app out for Android yet. So there are a couple components. There's a, a Windows or Mac client that installs on your computer. This is installed on the client computer. Then you can connect to it with your iPad. Show you because most of the magic that's happening is happening on the iPad and not anything you're going to see on the screen. You'll see the end result up on the screen, but I'll try and show you what I'm doing. Okay. Now what I have here is a list of the computers that I've connected to with Doceri previously. So basically all the computers that have the Doceri app on it that I've connected to and have played with. So my desktop is on there and a handful of the lecterns around the building. It'll save the password for any, any computers that you've connected to. So at its core, Doceri is a remote control application for your iPad. So you can remotely control your computer. So this is really nice for when you want to walk around the classroom interact with your students a little bit. You can use this as a pointer. So if you want to draw somebody's attention to a particular place on the projector, you've got a handy arrow there. Okay? And you can change the arrow, you can change the direction it's pointing, you can change the type of the arrow. So a few little bells and whistles. <laughs> Second thing we'll do is, one of the things a lot of, a lot of us do in the classroom, right, is show a PowerPoint presentation. Okay? So this is a really fun way to show a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to choose to launch a file here. When you install Doceri on your computer, it install, it creates a directory in your documents folder that stores all of these uh, drawings and anything that you save from Doceri gets stored in that folder. Now the way that we have file storage set up here in FCB, your documents is a shared, it's a, it's a folder that's stored on the computer. So in other words, anywhere you log in throughout the building, you're going to have the same experience. So a couple more things. If you turn your iPad, I've been using it in landscape mode. If you turn it into portrait mode, you see on the bottom, this is the area where you can interact with the computer and interact with what's on the projector. At the top, you've got, you're going to see exactly what the students see on the projector. As I showed you before, this is a remote control. So by tapping on the screen, that's acting like a mouse click. Just like you would in PowerPoint, I can click on the mouse to head through the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Now, we've also got a drawing feature in here. And this is where it, where it gets pretty fun. So if you really want to draw somebody's attention, this brought up a little palette. When I opened the drawing tool, brought up a little palette so I can choose what color I want to draw, the thickness of the line, if you want to make it a dotted line, all that kind of stuff. I won't go into too many of those details. But I really want to draw your attention to the second point. Okay? And maybe that this slide has animations. So you can draw all over your PowerPoint, and you can save these drawings for later. So if, you, so if I choose to save this drawing, it's going to save it in my Doceri folder, so that if, if you felt like you did a really great job in your first section and you want to have the exact same appearance in your second section of the day, then you can just bring up this drawing and it'll, uh, it'll still be there exactly as you did it the first time. So you can, you can use two, two fingers to pinch and zoom. You can use uh, two fingers also together to move around the screen. This is a, an artist's rendition of what the transit spine is going to look like uh, at NAU. And you can see even though they've sort of outlined them with trees there, it's not really easy to see, probably especially from the back of the room. So this is another instance where having something to highlight where that path is might be really handy. I just bought about an hour and a half ago as a stylus. If, <laughs> if you guys haven't used a stylus with your tablet, I recommend it. It, it makes a world of difference. It's really nice. <laughs> and you could either do a drawing on a saved background, and they have all sorts of saved backgrounds. One of them is graph paper, which I'll show you here. So they've got this action menu toward the upper left, and I'm clicking the action menu, and one of the options here is open a saved drawing, and there are a lot of saved drawings. One of the other options is a new drawing on a background. And so one of the backgrounds is graph paper, and graph paper can be pretty nice because it gives you the nice rule of lines so that you, could, so you know where you're drawing and you can remove the graphs, the graph lines from that drawing later. So, Doceri saves all of your writing as a timeline. So, 
I'm just going to write up on the projector, I have a dog. All right. So at the top of this here, there's a button here that opens up a timeline. You can see the timeline sort of in green there at the top. So it saves how you do it. You can speed up or slow down that, that illustration. Yeah, there's very slow, there's very fast. Okay, there's the very fast again. Now one of the cool things about this is in your timeline, normally in a, word like, in a program like Word or some other program, if you did undo a bunch of times and then put in a new word, you can't redo the rest of the stuff that, that you did uh, before you erased that word. But Docery does have a way to do that. So you can step back through the timeline and you can see it's erasing as I go. All right, and so I'm going to go back one more step forward. I'm going to undo the A, and just for illustration purposes, I'll change this to red. Okay, and this isn't going to make very good grammatical sense, but I'm going to do and open a save drawings, and this is all from this action menu, and then they've got a folder full of sample drawings. And again, this is pulling over the network from the folder on your computer, so it doesn't require a lot of storage on your iPad itself. So now you can see this is a math problem. Yeah, you don't want to... Now, the novelty of watching the, the characters write on the board might get a little old. So what Doceri does is they create these stop points. And so what you can do, I'm going to go back to the start. And so instead of watching that all write up, uh, I'll write on the board. You can just jump forward to each stop point. Okay, so now you've written the solution here. All right? Or you could jump all the way to the end if you want everybody to see the whole thing. And so Doceri has this built-in keyboard, and it's not, the, it's not the iPad keyboard or the iOS keyboard, but it's actually a, sort of a Windows keyboard. And if you're on a Mac, it, it knows that, and it'll bring up the Mac keyboard with the command key instead of the Windows key down at the bottom. Spreadsheet saved on the J drive. Right. So, just like you wrote on that PowerPoint, could I write on those spreadsheets and resave them? Yes, except it wouldn't be saved as a spreadsheet file. It would be saved as a drawing oh, yeah. in this area. Yeah. So you could open up the the spreadsheet again. You could have it up on the screen, and you could go through the the writings as they as you wrote them on there. But the spreadsheet itself would be static. You wouldn't and so be... the students couldn't see my comments unless they had. Right. That, that's exactly right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is really more for presentations. Launch Docery Desktop. If it's the first time you've launched it on your Windows machine or on your Mac, it'll ask you just for a few settings. It automatically figures out the computer's IP address and host name. You don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, but one thing it does ask you to set up is a username and a password. So that one of the things that you might wonder about is when my student has an iPad, what if they have Doceri? Can they jump in and hijack my session? And, and they actually have it. Doceri has it built in so that one, once one iPad is, is connected, yeah, that poor choice of words going through the wireless network, probably going out to NAU's backbone and then finding, finding the, the Doceri client here. So in fact, you could control your computer here from home as long as you have a VPN connection. If you really want, if you just can't get away from work.